Of course, this night is all thanks to the city of Whittlesea and Westfield Plenty Valley. Let's hear it for Westfield Plenty Valley, ladies and gentlemen. Without them, it is absolutely not possible. Ladies and gents, can you believe that we are under two weeks before Christmas and, uh, and Westfield Plenty Valley will be opening longer across the coming weeks? And what you got to do is check the website for full details and do your Christmas shopping at Westfield Plenty Valley. And uh, you can also sign up to their e-newsletter to receive information on uh, news, events and competitions that they're running throughout the Christmas season. You can like them on Facebook as well. And can you believe it? They have an Instagram page as well. I don't know what a shopping centre is doing with an Instagram page, but they have one. So join it and get to know them. We're also running a competition as well for your chance to win a, I think it's a $250 voucher to go and shop at Westfield Plenty Valley. What you got to do is sign up to their newsletter. You can do that tonight. And there's a bit of a raffle that'll take place just after nine o'clock. So the entries close at nine o'clock. Just after we'll announce the winner here on stage. Your chance to pick yourself up a $250 voucher. On a bit of a serious note, you kids out there, Please don't get lost tonight, okay? Because we will have to sell you on eBay if we find lost kids. And we don't want to do that because the rates at the moment for lost... Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so please be careful, adults. Keep an eye on the kids as well throughout the night. We don't want anyone lost. And also, sometimes we get wives up here who can't find their husbands. I don't know where they go, but we don't want anyone lost. You get the idea. Okay, now to the stars of the show. Um, thank you, mate. Uh, thank you. These guys here, give yourselves a big round of applause. Yes. Yeah, they're here all, every year. Let me take you through who's going to be entertaining you tonight. Of course, over to the right of me, we have the Diamond Valley Brass Band, led by their leader, John Gray. They call him John Gray because the beard's getting a bit greyer every single year. Isn't that right, John? That's right. And the back as well. Yeah, that's okay. So it's good to have the band back over here. They've been great supporters of uh, Carols by Candlelight since 1998. That's about 16 years, ladies and gentlemen. They rehearse every Thursday in Greensboro, and you can find their contact details in the program as well. Over to our community choir. Look at them. They look wonderful tonight. Yes, and the kids as well. Led by their leader, Flip Case. There she is. There you go. Checks in the mail, is it? Yeah, there, maybe. There we go. Now, they've been working together for the last eight weeks, rehearsing day and night in the sun, in the, in the hail, in the wet, everything. But they just keep rehearsing and rehearsing for this big night coming up tonight. They're made up of 50 local individuals who volunteer their time to take part, and they look absolutely amazing. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, there's lots going on throughout the whole park as well, so we encourage you to go and check it out. I also want to say hello to... to the, he's not looking at me. This, you, how are we going to do this? Is this going to work? Because you're going to have to... I don't, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, are you Mark? You're Mark. Okay, that's good. Cool. You're our Auslan interpreter. That's fantastic. Excellent. A, a big round of applause for Mark. He's here all night long. All night long. Can you, can you do that song? All night long. All night. <laughs> Excellent. One move does it. Can you say this for me? Uh, just say this for me. Say, uh, the host is really hot. Just, uh, just, yeah. So I don't know if that's what he's saying or not. I, don't, I have no idea what's going on over there. What are these signs? Hold up that sign again. <laughs> you sound fantastic. Yeah, baby. Oh, look at all these. I hadn't noticed yet. Can I have your number? No. Um, yeah, my favourite. Are you going to hold that up for like random? Three of them. There's three of them. In here? With, in the choir? Are they your kids by any chance? Yeah. Wife? Yeah. What up? Next door neighbour? Who are they? Best friend, excellent. That's what it's all about. About to support everyone here because they're entertaining all of you. You must be Georgia. You're doing a bit of a solo in this next song, aren't you? Lovely, lovely to have you here. How many? Who's been here like the longest in the choir, like year after year? Who's like? How many years? No, don't. 
where, talk, talk to me because it's not a library. How many? How long have you been with the co- Four, 14 years? Well, it's about time you gave it a rest, really, isn't it? 14, 14 years? No, that's lovely, of course. But the kids, kids, we have a surprise later on in the evening as well. You probably already know what that is. You've got to be nice. If you're nice, yeah, my favourite. You're going to hold that up all the time. Is that me this time? Thanks, mate. Thumbs up. That's great. Excellent. Okay. Good, good. Uh, can I say that one out loud? I shouldn't say that. He's, he's got be quiet and sing. But it's not it's does not be quiet, it's a bit more aggressive than that. I'm not sure. Can we allow that sign? That's a, that's a bit, you know. Anyway, moving right along. Now, uh, we have two Auslan interpreters. I forgot. This one is Chris. Chris, say hello to yourself. Okay, done. Okay. How about a little round of, well, a big round of applause for the kids in the choir as well here. Yeah? Yeah. Love your work. There it is. Any of you guys here, the, the, the kids belong to you. Hands up if the kids belong to you. Okay, this is the this is a great babysitting tool tonight, isn't it? It's really good. They're, just, they're not going to move, are they? But I believe that it's going to be a little bit different. There's, uh, you're, Tommy, you're singing in in Italian. Lovely. Any Italian? I'm Italian. Any Italians here? Good. Did you bring your own food? Yes, that's right. A voucher to Westfield Plenty Valley, the great supporters of the Carols by Candlelight, Westfield Plenty Valley, they're to the left of me over here. Uh, get your name, sign up to their newsletter. And uh, these are uh, these guitars. Yeah, ukulele is it's gonna it's gonna do a joke. Thanks for ruining it. Anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say they were put through the wash. You're gonna get bad jokes like that from me throughout the night. Lots of kids coming up to me asking me, when's Santa coming? When's Santa coming? And they're tugging at my jacket and my pants. One of them nearly got my whole pants off. In fact, that was a bit rough, actually. And uh, So what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'll give Santa a call. Okay, I'll give Santa a call. We'll see where he's at, right? And do you have Santa's number? Phone number? No? No, anyone got Santa? I think I've got it. No, I think I've got it. I'll just Google it. Hang on. Santa's number. Here we go, Santa. There we go. Okay, let's give him a call. There you go. Hang on. It's ringing. It's ringing. Hello, Santa speaking. Santa? What are, you, what are you doing, mate? Everyone wants to know when you're coming to the carols by candlelight. Who's this? It's, it's me. It's, it's, it's James. Oh, hello, James. I'm on my way. We're flying down the west coast of Australia, down to Mill Park, west of Australia. But we're on the east, Santa. What? We're, we're, on, we're on the east. I think you might be a bit late. Oh, my. Hang on a second. Rudolph! Oh, no. Turn left. Oh, no. Left. Uh, you got a GPS? Uh, no. What's uh, a GPS? Um, Greek, Greek, um, Greek past the south. No, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's right. That's James, right. we have to take a left. We did a right instead. Look, I'm sure you'll find it. Just, just get out the Melway, you'll be fine, yeah? Well, we'll have to come across the Nullarbor and okay. all that, over Adelaide, and then Melbourne, and then, is it Mill Park or Blade No, it's, it's definitely Mill Park, Mill Park. Mill Park, yeah. all right. What do I look for? Uh, ju- just uh, look for, like, a few hundred people. Hey, make some noise for Santa! <laughs> look for the I noise. I that was loud enough, James. I can't hear them. Make some noise for Santa! Well, there's a little squeak there, but we'll have to get closer. Bruno, Dasha, Prata, Danza! Right. Onward! Okay. Onward! Alright, Santa, we'll see you soon, mate! See ya! Bye! <laughs> Bye! There we go, that's good. That's international, that's gonna cost me an arm and a leg, that call. Let's see! <laughs> Hello! Merry Christmas, everybody! Is there anyone out there? It is, it, absolutely, they're going to make a lot of noise for you. It's great Merry to see you. Christmas, everybody! Santa, I believe everyone's been having a great time. They've been waiting to see you. They've been listening to the carols. Yes, I heard, all... I heard on the phone call when I rang you, when I was in Western Australia. Oops, I got lost. <laughs> Better not do that Christmas Eve. No, don't do that. Now the main question is that you know Santa wants to know: Have the kids been 
Naughty. <laughs> Someone's yelled out, Naughty! Okay. Are the kids being naughty or nice? Have you been naughty or nice? No. Well, you did ask the lady what she wanted for Christmas. She said a new husband, one that works. Well, she'll have to send him out to work then, won't no, she? Not that kind of work, just works in general. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs>